Hello friends, and today I'd like to answer a recurring question that I hear a lot. How do I draw outside the camera? And the simple answer is that you're working on a raster level that's the same size as the camera, so you just need a larger level. But you might want to do this because you're planning to pan the background or zoom in and out, or just because you feel restricted drawing within this box. And being able to go outside can give you more freedom and doing this is applicable to both OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. Although today, I'll be working with Tahoma 2D. So let's take a look at how you can do it. But the first thing to understand is that vector levels don't have a fixed size. So you can draw as large as you like, wherever you like with them. Inside or outside the camera. But for the other two level types, you have to pay attention to two things. The size of the camera and the size of the level. So first, camera size. And the camera size is decided on when you first create your scene. So if I open the startup dialog, and once you've decided on the project to create your scene in, either by creating a new project, or by selecting one from the top here, you can then define the scene. With a name and the scene size. And it's worth pointing out that the dialog for a new scene in OpenTunes has more options, but you still have these same controls. So you can pick a preset resolution from this drop-down, or you can type in the new height and width here. And by default, the size is standard HD 1920 by 1080. But feel free to change it to whatever suits your final piece. So we just hit create scene. And with the camera chosen, now it's running, the camera is this white area here in the middle of the viewer with a red dotted box around the edge. But now you've set the size of the camera, it's important that you know what level you're creating and at what size. So you can just start drawing in a new column and the new level will be created. And this level type is defined in the preferences. So if you go to the File menu, Preferences, and then the Drawing section, you'll see the default level type here at the top, which is a smart raster level. And by default, the level will be the same size as the camera, as you can see with this tick box, but you can untick the box, and then change the width and height in these boxes to be larger if you like creating levels this way and want them to always be larger. But I'd recommend that you don't create levels this way unless you want exactly the same level type at the same size every time. Because it's too easy to forget which level type you're creating and at what size. So if I tick that box again and close the dialog. So to create a new level, I'd recommend you click the new level button into Homer just here. And then choose the level type. Or show the timeline or X sheet toolbar by right clicking on one of the column headers and choose Toggle Quick Toolbar and then you can choose one of the three level types from here with these three buttons. And we've already seen that you can draw any size you like on vector levels and in fact if you choose to create a vector level you can't set a size in here because it doesn't have a maximum size. So let's choose one of the raster levels and they both work in the same way regarding their size but I'll choose a standard raster level today. And then you'll see this dialog box, and now you can see that you can change the size for this level. And this uses the default size that we saw in the preferences earlier. So change it there if you want this to default to something else. But you can also just change it on the fly here. So if I make this roughly twice as big, just by typing in some larger numbers, and then press OK, and that'll create a level where all of the drawings are this new size. And you can't see any difference yet, but if I zoom out, you can see this grey box here, which is a border surrounding the level. And if you don't like that, you can hide it from the view menu. And it's the raster bounding box. But I quite like seeing it when you've got larger levels, so you know where the edge is. And now for this level, if I start drawing, I can draw inside the camera, 
or continue outside. So as I said, every drawing in this level will be the same size. So if I go to a new frame and then start drawing again, that's also this large size. But when you turn on the camera view, you can only see what's within the camera area. But if you want to draw on a smaller drawing again, you have to create another new level. So if I insert a new column and create a new raster level, the size is back to standard HD. If I click OK, I've changed that to a blue colour. And now when I draw, I can only draw within the area of this level. But what if you've already created your level at this smaller size? Is it too late to make it larger? No, it's not. It's really easy. And for smart raster levels into Homer 2D or Toons raster levels in Open Toons, you can just right click on a drawing and choose canvas size and you get this dialog box. Or for standard raster levels, you have to go to the level menu and from there choose canvas size to get the same box and then type in the new size or choose the relative option and then type in the size difference. So if we make the height 2000 pixels larger and then you can change the anchor points at the bottom here. So by default, the extra height will be added to the top and bottom of the drawing. So there'll be a thousand pixels at the top and a thousand at the bottom. But if we want all of the extra size at the bottom of the drawing, I can press the top arrow to remove this row and now the drawing will only expand downwards. So I'll click Resize. So you can now see you have the same space at the top of the drawing and a lot more space below the bottom of where I've already drawn. And if you make a mistake, you can just click Undo and then try again. And finally, it's worth noting that you can change the camera size if you want to make the output a different size to the one you selected at the outset and that's from the Scene Camera Settings option. So if I make this one smaller, you'll see the camera go smaller. So this does change the output resolution, but it doesn't resize the drawings within the camera. But it's useful to know it's there. So that's it. That's how you can draw outside the camera. So if you have a question about OpenTunes or Tahoma 2D, drop it as a comment on this video or join my Discord where you can chat about open tunes and Tahoma and anything animation related with other animators just like yourself. But if you're new here, I release a new video every Friday evening and I've started live streaming each weekend. So don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I do. And take a look through my other videos. I've been making videos about open tunes for over three years so you'll probably find something new to learn and the answer to your questions might already be there. So stay tuned, keep animating and I'll see you soon for more tips. And that's a Darren T. Have you always wanted to animate but didn't know how to start and software seemed expensive and difficult to use? Well with OpenTunes it's free, powerful and once you know how it's easy to use. And it's my mission to get you animating with it today. Hi, my name's Darren, and I've been teaching OpenTunes for the past three years, showing thousands of students, just like you, how easy it is to animate with, and cutting through the jargon to show that anyone can animate with it. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to animate traditionally using OpenTunes. And the course is designed for students brand new to OpenTunes, as well as those new to animation. So take a look at the free lessons I've offered below and then why not sign up and join me animating traditionally with OpenTunes.